Hello, my name is Andy, and I am the Village Idiot, and I'm armed with a car and a GoPro, and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. It's still raining in the district of Selby, but I'm not getting too wet, and my spirits at the moment are being lifted by this very village. This is a conservation village, and I'm stood on the corner of Southfield Grange, overlooking the village hall and a primary school which is just out of shot which i'm not about to turn the camera towards because i can hear children this is the very pretty appleton roebuck Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Appleton Roebuck, sometimes just known as Appleton, is a village and civil parish in the Selby district of North Yorkshire. A conservation village, it had a population of 692, according to the 2001 census, increasing to 792 at the 2011 census. That's a population that includes neighbouring Acaster Selby, and together the two villages form a parish council. Appleton is about nine miles southwest of York. In February 2000, much of Appleton Roebuck was designated a conservation area under Section 69 of the Planning, Listed Buildings and Conservation Areas Act 1990. It's a village that consists of mainly stunning 18th and 19th century buildings. There are six listed buildings within the conservation area, all Grade 2, including two places of worship. The village is another that lies within the Ainstie, which we mentioned in nearby Colton. As such, it also lies within the UK parliamentary constituency of Selby and Ainstie. So as a conservation village, I'm expecting to see plenty of houses out here, which look sort of magnificent. Villa Farm behind me is certainly one of them, isn't it? I'll bet that's a listed building. Appleton Roebuck derives its name from Anglo-Saxon. Appleton means farm where apple trees grow, and from the 14th century it was owned by a man called Rabuck. Over time that would commute to Roebuck. Put the two together and as if by magic you have Appleton Roebuck. Now a little bit later I'll be taking the car down Bond Lane, which is that road right there, and it leads to Dam Lane and I'll be going onto Dam Lane to show you, as best I can, Nun Appleton. It's a private residence and it used to be a nunnery. In the 12th century, a nunnery was established at Nun Appleton, a short distance from the village. It was founded by Adeliza or Alice de St Quentin. After the dissolution of the monasteries, the site was acquired by the Fairfax family. You might notice some references to the Fairfax name both in the village and the wider area around Appleton. Indeed, Fairfax, you'll recall, was the name mentioned back at Steeton Hall. A house was built by them on the site of Nun Appleton, which later became the home of Thomas, the third Lord Fairfax, a parliamentary commander during the Civil War. I tell you what, I wasn't wrong with my assertion, was I? The properties out here are absolutely amazing. After the death of Mary Fairfax, Nun Appleton was eventually sold in about 1711 to Alderman Milner of Leeds. The Milner family, who made their money from the Air and Calder Navigation Canal, continued to own the hall until 1875 as their fortune dwindled away. Nun Appleton isn't alone in the category of local historic sites. Appleton also has Woolus Hall too, and a short distance east from the village are the remains of a moated manor site known as Brockett Hall. Generally, the village is in a mostly agricultural area, though many residents work in the nearby cities and towns. However, it should be noted that despite that, Appleton remains a village with a strong community. Let's learn a bit about the residents. Ethnically, this is a parish that's 98.4% white British. The parish's area is a shade over 18 square kilometres, and that gives it a population density of 50.33. 
As you might expect from a conservation village, the average house price is steep. Here, it's £456,000. The bus service will look familiar to anyone who watched last week's Colton episode. It's the same 21 service to York that calls through here as it does there. The school was built in 1817 and an infant school was added in 1841. The school is within the catchment area of Tadcaster Grammar School. This though isn't the only educational facility here. You never know what you're going to find in a village. Look at this. Jack Tars Inn incorporating Diver Training College, which is up here. The Diver Training College has provided courses for recreational scuba divers for over 35 years. Initially, it was a British Sub Aqua Club Premier School. It offers courses from beginner to instructor. Over to the left of this shot, you can see Bridge Service Station, which is a garage and MOT testing station, not something we usually see in a village this size. Within the village are two public houses and various other small businesses. Both public houses are Samuel Smith pubs, the Shoulder of Mutton and the Roebuck. This is the Shoulder of Mutton, a dead giveaway given the sign outside it. This is described as a lovely traditional village pub overlooking the village green, with a friendly atmosphere with hot and cold food available. Then we have the Roebuck at the other end of Main Street. I'm not sure if either of the pubs are still in operation though. I found an article which said that both, along with the Crown Inn at Bolton Percy, have struggled to reopen since the pandemic. There's a village green here which it seems is used as a little playing field by the looks of these goal nets. Appleton also has a tennis club as well. The main religious building in Appleton is All Saints Church. This was built in 1868 by J.B. and W. Atkinson. It's made from sandstone with a red brick interior and ashlar dressings. It has a plain tile roof and was built in the Gothic Revival style. Amongst its features it has a four bay nave with south porch, west bell coat, two bay chancel and north vestry. Until 1875 it existed as a chapelry of Bolton Percy's Church of All Saints. This one was open too. I'm glad it was open because inside I found something really good that the locals here have been doing. Now I'm hoping by the time this video goes out, the invasion in Ukraine that's currently going on will have stopped. However, even if it's still going on, the people of Appleton Roebuck have this very nice thing they've done. You can leave some donations for Ukrainians. There's a porch here, which has got a little uh, board, which says donations for Ukraine. List of essential items, new, nearly closed for adults, children, toilets, batteries, baby items, nappies, bottles, powdered milk. You can leave them all here on this bench in the porch. That's very good. That's very good. Well done Appleton Roebuck for that. For centuries, churchgoers used to walk to Bolton Percy along a footpath alongside something called the Fleet between the two villages. That's why you'll find a church lane in the south of Appleton despite the fact there's no church on it. The Wesleyans built a Methodist chapel in the village in 1818 and it's very much still going strong as well. Here we're approaching the village hall or at least that's what I thought it was in the intro. I suppose it is still the same thing but its official name is the parish room. Whichever you prefer it has a parish notice board and you'll notice the name of the council above makes reference to Acaster Selby as well as Appleton Roebuck. It stands on Door Lane. It's used as the village's polling station during elections and can be hired for various events too. And out towards Acaster Selby, you'll find yourself heading towards a caravan and campsite known as Hales Hill Park, a peaceful site on a 60 acre farm on the banks of the River Ouse. There are a couple of notable landmarks within the village. We start with memorials. Here's the war memorial which stands in front of the church. We've then got two benches which I passed along my route. The first is to a local lady called Phyllis Douglas. Whilst the second has a royal theme to it. You'll find this one on the village green and it's been here since 2012 commemorating the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. 
This stream runs through the village. It doesn't appear to have a name, but it makes its way peacefully down towards the River Wharf, entering it at Nun Appleton. It flows under the road via this small bridge, likely the one which gives Bridge Service Station its name. Now, I'm not sure of the significance, but that house right there is St. Catherine's house, and up above the door it says St. Catherine's in Memoriam. Out towards Bolton Percy is a former windmill built around 1820. This was a working corn mill for more than a century, until its sails were removed in the 1930s and its mechanism dismantled during the Second World War. Okay, time for a picture bit which will include Nun Appleton, and then I'll show you exactly how close you can get to it, because you can't get fully to it, it's a private property. Okay, so I've come as far down the public road as it allows. This is Dam Lane towards Nun Appleton. If you come down here, you'll be met with this gate. There are some other roads you can use to try and access Nun Appleton as well, but all of them are gated just like this, so you definitely can't get in. You might be able to see uh, just beyond these gates as well, there's some little gate pillars here and here. Those belong to the house, to Nun Appleton but you can't get in, there you go. So, what I can do though, is I can drive to Home Green, which is a little hamlet just to the south of Appleton Roebuck. And to do that, I've got to try and turn the car around on this very narrow road. And we'll go there and have a look and see what Home Green's all about. So here we are in Home Green, a tiny hamlet between Appleton Roebuck and Nun Appleton. There's not much here, just a handful of houses really, but it's a nice quiet spot. Home Green is located in the Vale of the Fleet, which, by the way, is a rivulet, which flows into the stream we saw earlier and out into the wharf. Other than that, there's not a lot here in Home Green. It's just a nice place to finish off a video that's easily been one of the most enjoyable to both film and create. I think, all things considered, that is that for the parish of Appleton Roebuck. What a lovely little place here in the north of Selby District. And even though it's raining, it does look pretty nice, doesn't it? Plenty of nice properties, a very warm, welcoming feel I found to this place too. And it's really good to see some uh, opportunity here for you to donate to the victims of the Ukraine invasion. I'm kind of not surprised by it because we the British people are quite compassionate, aren't we? when things like that happen overseas. I'm hoping to find some other places where similar things uh, are in place for uh, the atrocities that are going on uh, in Europe at the moment. This has been the parish of Appleton Roebuck and I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot. And I'm out.